Hi Sam. Welcome to my studio, Trinity Art Club members. I'm glad to have you back. Let's quickly recap the stuff we went over uh, last class that I wanted you to make sure that you took away from the class. We covered a lot of stuff, but here are the four key takeaways. One, we need to know what the properties of color is, are. Um, what the primary colors are, what the secondary colors are, and what the tertiary colors are. Alright, and then we want to go over the uh, color wheel. Um, we'll cover that today because that's the exercise that we're going to do in part two. We're actually going to create our own color wheel using our uh, palette. And then that's the uh, fourth thing we're going to cover, uh, recap today, and that's what our palette is. All right. First, let's cover the uh, properties of the color, which are hue. Hue is simply the color, what we have always called color yellow, green, blue, violet, red, orange, etc. Temperature is how warm or cool a color is. Generally most folks think about splitting the color wheel either in the middle of yellow to violet and the reds and oranges over here are the warm colors and on this side is the cool colors. But temperature is relative. Okay? Violet is warmer even though it's on the cool side. Well let's go here. Blue green. Blue is cooler than blue green. So it's relative. The, the temperature is relative. Red orange is warmer than orange. Both are warm colors but that's a warmer color than that is. Alright and we'll, we'll continue to cover that in the following weeks. So just remember what temperature is. Value is simply uh, how dark or light uh, hues are. And chroma is how intense colors are. Uh, intense or purity of the color or saturation of the color. Is a color. Let's talk about the primary colors now. Primary colors are, if you'll recall, blue, and I'll put these uh, in the order that they show up on a color wheel, uh, red, and yellow. Is that the paint companies don't label their colors that match um, our color wheel. And so, for example, this is called Red Rose Deep. Well, we'll learn in a minute that that's not a color, that a name that we find on our color wheel. Or phalo blue, or cadmium yellow. So, we'll talk about that a little more. Alright, uh, so those are our three primaries. And we'll talk about which one you've chosen to use here in a moment. But right now we're just going to call these yellow, red, and blue. Mix yellow and red together to get the secondary color of orange. Mix the yellow with the blue to get the secondary color of green. Mix the red and the blue and you get the secondary color of violet. So now we've got six colors. Yellow, green, blue, violet, red, and orange. Mix pro all right, so now we've got six colors. You take those six colors and mix them together. Um, the violet, mix some blue with it, and you get a blue violet. Mix some red with it, you get a red violet. You've got the orange secondary color. Mix some red with it, you get an orange yellow. Uh, I'm sorry, red orange. Uh, take the orange, mix some yellow, and you get a yellow orange and on and on. So 
that leads us up to what our uh, exercise is going to be in a moment but that gives us a common uh, definition a common model a model is probably a better of names of hues that we all can uh, so if I say a yellow green you know what a yellow green is it's a tertiary color that has yellow mixed with green primary color yellow secondary color green in between yellow green we don't call it lime we don't call it turquoise or anything else we'll call it a yellow green and it's just a common way of describing different hues uh, obviously this 12 there's 12 colors right three primaries three secondaries and six tertiaries is not all the colors or hues uh, that exist you could divide between the yellow and yellow orange even more and continue to do that until your eye can't s differentiate the color anymore and if you recall Dr. Munsell who was the really the latest uh, color guru took this wheel and divided it into 100 units and gave them numbers and uh, that's used today in printing and paints and other things again remember uh, unfortunately the paint manufacturers do not use these standard names that we use as artists to describe uh, the colors in their tubes all right the the color wheel is a very useful tool it doesn't cost very much a couple three bucks uh, you can get them on Amazon or locally it doesn't matter where uh, you I, I recommend you get one we will explore this in more uh, detail in future classes especially when we get into uh, harmonious colors and uh, values here's the value scale on here and on the back side we have the complementary colors the split complementary triad etc we'll cover that in later and in part two we're going to actually create our own color wheel all right yeah uh, and we'll walk through how to do that so let's go to our palette if you recall a palette has two definitions one is it is the physical thing that holds our paint that can be uh, a plate a piece of paper uh, in my case here I have a I think it's a 16 by 20 rectangle uh, with a box that has a lid that I can then keep my paint for a while it's got a glass insert and I use uh, a little scraper to take my paint off so that's palette number one that's not the palette we're going to talk about today palette we're going to talk about today is the paints that you've actually selected for your limited uh, palette all right and so I am hoping that you have uh, purchased either one of the two options this is option number one and white all right um, this is about a fifty dollar fifty dollar of paint uh, because it's got uh, some cadmium colors cadmium are the most expensive paints again we don't want to use student grade unless you're really forced into it uh, beginning painting is hard enough without using uh, inferior uh, products so let's talk about the three primaries and in theory remember from class given the three primaries you can create any color uh, known to mankind that's yeah, pretty accurate but not exactly uh, so we've got yellow as our primary color ultramarine blue oh by the way that's a da Vinci cadmium yellow medium uh, Rembrandt or da Vinci or um, oh Grunbacher ultramarine uh, blue this is Rembrandt ultramarine deep 
uh, works really well. And then Rembrandt Cadmium Red Medium. So that was option number one, it's about $50. Option number two, which I believe is a much better value, uh, it's a set that you can get from Da Vinci. And it comes with two each primaries. Oops, got my red and my blue backwards here. Let me uh, get my color wheel correct. So let's talk about these paints. So there are two yellows, the CAD yellow medium and a Hunza yellow light lemon. Um, Ultramarine Blue, the one we just talked about, different brand. Phalo Blue, which is a little uh, cooler, I'm sorry, a little warmer than the Ultramarine Blue. It's got a little green in it, so it's going around the color wheel towards the warmer side. So you got a cool blue and a warm blue. Uh, two reds, Cadmium Red Light, and a deep Red Rose Deep. Uh, a warm red and a cooler red. Same with the yellows, a little warmer and cooler yellows. Uh, this gives you a lot more options because it does allow uh, at the primary level uh, different temperatures. So hopefully you've chosen one of those two palettes. Uh, I'm going to assume that and so for the demo we will uh, if you've got this set, we will take out the the warmer, we'll take out the phalo blue, we'll take out the deep uh, red rose deep, and we'll take out the uh, yellow light lemon. So we will use either the cad red light, cad yellow medium, ultramarine blue, if you have that set of paints, or the Rembrandt Ultramarine, or the Cad Yellow Medium Da Vinci, notice that that's exactly the same um, colors. Uh, the really only difference, this is a 37 milliliter and this is 21 milliliter. And then the Cadmium Red Medium. So. I think that covers what we want to uh, uh, recap. All right, so let's get uh, let's get started on our exercise. I'll see you in part two. Uh, thanks for watching the recap. Uh, we we're ready to actually put some paint on and create our own color wheel. All right, see you later. Bye. But remember that all colors are relative. So a red orange is cooler than a red. A blue green is warmer than a blue.
So it depends on which direction you're going to or from. But anyway, it is relative. For the most part, the yellows through the violets are warm and yellows through the bluish violets are cooler. Thanks for watching part one. We'll see you again in part two immediately following. Bye.